word is bond. My word is bond. Shout out to the CIA. What's going on, people? Um, <laughs> word is bond. Word is bond. Bond number nine. One of my favorite fragrance houses. And one that doesn't need a lot of love uh, in the fragrance community. But here's the thing. The fragrance community is very, 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 very small. We're talking about, oh, y'all are tripping. The fragrance community is tiny. We're talking maybe less than 5% of the people in the world know what a fragrance community is. Most people just go buy a fragrance because they like the way it smells. Let me tell you, one of my favorite fragrances, one of my favorite fragrance houses is Bond Number no. 9 because I love the way it lasts. Simple as that, the way it lasts. Rarely are you gonna find a fragrance from Bond Number no. 9 that does not perform well. Uh, even in one of my TV interviews, uh, one of the reporters, the people interviewed me like, oh my God, you smell so good. What are you wearing? I was wearing a fragrance to Bond Number no. 9. Now, a lot of people may not wear Bond Number no. 9 uh, because you may not have them in your particular city. And that's cool. Um, let's see what this is looking like. Let's see what this is looking like. But I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I have in my collection from the fragrance house. Uh, bond number, uh, let's see. Well, unfortunately, some of these, and this is a part of my collection, but I only wanted to put out a little bit of it. Yeah, a part of my collection. <laughs> This one right here, I call it Sexy Pancakes. New Harlem, hard for anybody to get. It's been discontinued, but there's a fragrance called Michael Jordan uh, Legend or Rojas Man. Uh, it smells something close to this. Um, I don't, know. don't know what we're having problems over there. We're gonna keep on going. As springtime is here, one of the mo one of the line's most notable fragrances. That one right there, Bleecker Street. This stuff is incredible. Uh, some people compare it to Ralph Lauren uh, Purple Label, um, but I like this better. I like this much better and for the springtime, this is a springtime staple for me. I actually wore this the other day uh, and I love the bottle design too. I was like, if Prince was in a bottle, that would be him. Uh, here we go. One of the rock stars of the line, Shea Bond. This actually made it onto my spring list of fragrances. If you like Cool Water, Cool Water was a derivative of a fragrance called Green Irish Tweed, one of the Creed fragrance lines OGs. This is also another one of the derivatives, but I like this even more. I like this even more because I like the dry down. Uh, and this fragrance honestly blends well with many fragrances from this line. Since I'm talking about blending, this one right here is a simple fragrance, Bond Number no. 9 Perfume. It's called Signature Scent. Um, tonka Bean, Musk, Rose, and Oud. It's great, smells great on a man, smells great on a woman. These two fragrances can blend with most of the things in this line. Um, you just have to kind of know what you're doing. What's going on, Jabari? What's the best fragrance house to start with in the beginning? Um, if I had to recommend a fragrance house for most people, honestly, uh, I'd have to recommend Creed because they do fresh and clean very well. As far as niche fragrances, Creed, Creed is the most universally liked. I'm not a big Creed fan, but I, but I will tell you what, from what they do, they, they don't they don't lose um, and you can't go wrong with getting a Ventus bond number nine Wall Street when I want to be on my bullshit when I want to just feel like the man smell like money that's this one who was saying something the other night about this 
Bond number, uh, somebody was saying, uh, oh, it was Shelly, said that she loved the word Wall Street. Now, the cucumber note in here throws some people off, but I love it. It's, a, it's great for high heat. Great for high heat. So, um, yeah, put that back down. Uh, let's see. Let's get into, uh, oh, well. Bond number nine from the New York, they have a, a line of fragrance called the New York Notes. And this is all based off the note of musk. This is honestly one of the best musk fragrances on the planet, in my opinion. And it smells so damn good. This blends well with, again, Shea Bond. It's great as a standalone fragrance. And it even works well with a fragrance you can't get today called uh, Riverside Drive. Great in the heat. Don't buy this. This is Bond number nine, Little Illy, and it's and it's basically an orange fragrance. Some people actually say it reminds them of Windex. It's not that bad, but this is a blending fragrance, in my opinion. It's not a standalone fragrance unless you really, really are in a very humid environment. Um, if you can pick up a bottle of it for next to nothing, get it. But as a standalone fragrance, I don't recommend it. Bond number nine, Sag Harbor. This is a, a white floral fragrance that surprisingly enough, when it's like 85 degrees or higher, this smells great on, on men. <laughs> I wear the hell out of this in the summertime. Um, see, a lot of times guys get thrown off by fragrances because it says for women. Look, man, fragrances are unisex. You put them on your body, see how they work. Sag Harbor is a great example of a fragrance that a lot of guys will just not think about putting on and you're missing a big opportunity oh summertime staple bond number nine montauk this stuff only lasts about four hours but it's a good four hours it's a woody blueberry kind of fragrance so if this is spring in a bottle this is summer in a bottle bond number nine montauk oh where are my other ones or sent to peace in, in uh, bondnumber9.com. Oh, I blew my. All right. Another one's for the New York Notes collection. Bond number nine patchouli. This is probably one of the most strange smelling patchouli fragrances on the planet because it has the note of grapefruit in it. Patchouli usually smells kind of dirty, kind of earthy, but this is a fresh take on patchouli. Um, as somebody who loves patchouli fragrances, this was a little bit hard for me to actually start to like, but my exes, women love this stuff. This smells great on women. Mm, slide my bracelet down. Talk about a beast mode of a fragrance, New York Amber. This stuff is rose, oud, and amber. One bottle will last about 400 years. This stuff is strong and it's great. Especially when the temperature is below 50 degrees. Do not wear this stuff in the heat. You're going to kill somebody. Uh, Bond number nine, Manhattan. This was the fragrance they used to symbolize Manhattan. This is a Christmas fragrance. Peach, coriander. It smells like, it smells like, a, it smells like cookies to me. Um, but it's a great date night fragrance. Guys, this is <laughs> this is a great date night fragrance for men. Um, a lot of bonds don't get a lot of talk because people tend not to actually wear them and uh, don't give a and because some bond places don't give samples. You see all those? Those are samples that I have from bond. Um, maybe I'll do a sample giveaway. Um, when you typically go to a bond counter, oh my goodness, they don't tend to. Uh, give away samples as much as they used to. There we go, let's get in focus. Why is it taking me out of focus? There we go. Anyway, this isn't gonna stay up. But I just wanted to run through a little bit of this collection. Um, Bond number nine, Shelter Island. That's this fragrance with pepper for the summertime. Great high heat oud. Mm. 
Uh, bond number nine, Perfume East Avenue. This is a big, bold, brash, rose oud fragrance. The, honestly, as much as I love rose and oud, you got to really be on your bullshit to wonder where it is. This is a, <laughs> this stuff is a killer. I love it though. I love it. I love it. But the bottle is a bit much. It's a bit much, but I dig it. Um. Oh, let's talk about these two. This is one of the best fragrances that people don't wear from behind. Central Park. This is a ver lemon, verbena, and grass. But this stuff smells incredible in the springtime. Bond, strangely enough, the fragrances in the clear bottles was how they started off. And there are a lot of things from the original uh, line that are incredible. Great Jones, Hot Always, So New York, uh, Central Park, uh, Shea Bond, uh, New, New Harlem, can't find it anymore. That one up there that I'm about to talk about. Bond also does collaborations. Uh, with some of their sellers and this was a collaboration they did with Saks. This is Saks Fifth Avenue for him. Black licorice in a bottle. Don't let that throw you guys. Black licorice, red pepper, cumin in a bottle. This is a great dress up sexy male fragrance. I bullshit you not. This this stuff I swear by. I swear by it. I swear by it. <laughs> Um, let's get to probably one of them. This one right here. I wish they still made this. Bottle number nine, Riverside Drive. Basil and pineapple leaves. This stuff is, is in the, I put this in the same class as I put Tom Ford Grey Vetiver. It is a masculine masterpiece of a fragrance. And it just, and it does so well, especially in the heat. These two together, if you're a woman, put these two together, they're magical. More of this and a dash of this, but if you're a guy, more of this and a dash of this. See, the reason I actually put these, this line out like this is because it's a great fragrance line for um, couples. My favorite of the, probably my second most favorite of the entire line, bond number nine, New York Oud, my baby. Rose Oud Plum. I will never be without this fragrance, ever. The only way they're gonna get me to be without it is if they discontinue it, because I love it this much, that much. Uh, I rave about this often. And no matter what fragrances I come across, I still, every time I wear this, let's just do it now, every time I wear this, it just makes me happy. It just makes me happy. Would you ever, what would your fragrance smell like if you were to do a collaboration with Bond Number Nine? Uh, if I were to do a fragrance, well, of course, it would be easy to say my fragrance would be Rose, Oud, and Amber. But I don't know. Um, I've been thinking about actually doing a fragrance. But, if I did a fragrance, my favorite notes are rose, oud, and amber. Then my second favorites are uh, iris, patchouli, incense, and tonka. Putting all those in one fragrance would be crazy. But more than a fragrance, I would probably what I might do is like do uh, a collection, like Kevin Samuel's Bond Number no. Nine collection, and I would pick out five bonds, and they would present it in a box. That's probably what I would do because I don't necessarily know if I want to get into making products like like Jacques Marie Marge glasses. I would love to curate my my collection of four Jacques Marie Marge frames, five Bond number no. nine frames, uh, shoe collection from this brand, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is something <laughs> Bond number no. nine. There's a store in New York and London called Harrods. Harrods of New York. My favorite fragrance on the, my second favorite fragrance on the planet was Bond Number no. Nine Harrods Agarwood. Sadly, it is discontinued. It is gone off the planet. I picked up the last two bottles in the company. Um, 
but I have a lot of samples and some other stuff. But this one right here is Herod's Oud Patchouli. This stuff is one of the, sometimes you get fragrances that are just strange. They stink so good. That's this fragrance right here. Uh, we still get in the, is the connection jumping? Opinion on layering. During the spring, I layer Bond, Astor Place with West Side. Great result. Layering is one of those kind of things that I'm not a big fan of it. Um, in general, I'm more of a purist. I like to let the fragrances do what they do. But I did just talk about some of the layers that I use here. Uh, if you can get something that works for you, great. Um, let me pull back the camera. Let's see. Um, oh, not working. All right, well, we'll do it this way. And then, all of this. Look at all those samples. <laughs> Each one of these samples on eBay would sell for about three to five dollars. One of the advantages of buying directly from Bond or having a rep is they'll oftentimes just throw a bunch of samples in there. So yeah, maybe instead of going online and getting it for a discount, you pay retail plus. But when you get a bunch of samples like that, <laughs> yeah. So, um, bottom line is this. If you're looking for a fragrance house to start off with, go test Bond. Don't, don't look at the reviews online. Don't look at the, a lot of opinions on websites. Go make your own decision. Because oftentimes people stuff, put people stuff, oftentimes pe people have agendas. People have agendas. Sometimes you'll have fanboys who just, like this dildo that came in my chat room, saying that a fragrance line with all these fragrances sucks. Don't listen to dildos. Go make your own opinion. Don't, I mean, go make your own opinion because there are fragrances that I personally said I didn't like that people love and vice versa. But I will tell you this, Bond, um, for me, I never wear one of these fragrances and not get compliments. Nope, never wear fragrances and I don't get compliments, seriously. And now let's talk about pricing. Where you buy from is your opinion. If you go into the store and smell fragrances and buy them on the spot, if you go in the store and smell a fragrance and then go online to see if you can find it uh, for less expensive at a third party or a gray seller, if you want to swap them, buy a decant. A decant is oftentimes somebody buys a bottle, takes the top off of it, and splits it out into smaller portions and sells it. Um, if you don't care about the bottle, do that. But, you know, for somebody like myself, um, I learned early on when I was doing fragrance reviews that there were some people who really wanted to see the bottle. I mean, they were just like, oh, I'm not going to trust your review because you don't have a bottle. Now, I could go write a blog uh, or an article about a fragrance and people trust it all day long. But if they, on camera, if I don't see the bottle, it doesn't, stupid. Uh, I trust Fragrantica, but everyone, uh, Fragrantica, but see Fragrantica, understand something. Fragrantica still got agendas there. Understand Fragrantica will have fragrances that are coming out and they will already have negative reviews. They're not even released yet. You need to understand, like, let's say when Dolce & Gabbana, the one intense comes out. If you're a part of the fragrance, not the fragrance foundation, but if you're like an influencer, oftentimes I'll get fragrances before sent to me from brands for my opinions. Very few people actually get a fragrance before it hits the market. 
So how are people actually, so when you see a bunch of people putting negative reviews, that stuff would have been salt. How are you managing the smell of fragrance with the stores being closed for COVID-94? Are you blind? I don't blind buy. Well, yeah, well, do I blind buy? I don't blind buy meaning without smelling, yeah. I picked up some stuff this week. But when you're kind of at my level of this, there are people I talk to, people whose opinions I trust. Um, and I have enough fragrances to never have to buy another thing and could review them and never run out. If I went and showed you my actual collection, it would be a trip. Can you make a video, women, can you make videos for women, fragrance life? Yeah, uh, let me tell you why I don't make videos for women in, in mass. One, because while you may be here, thank you, most women don't listen to men. Most women, picking a fragrance for women is very personal. Women don't even tend to listen to other women for fragrance advice. So whenever I've done a video for women, it gets 20% of the views. So um, it's just really not, and, and, and it's just not a good business segment. I will talk about it from time to time, but I'm never going to sit back and dedicate real time to creating content for women. There's so many beauty bloggers and things like that that women would prefer to go look at. You know, you can't find Harris Agarwood is discontinued. What do I think about Brooklyn? I love it. Uh, it just doesn't last on my skin. Well, I'm number nine, Brooklyn. Um, I like the bottle. I love the pine, the unique kind of pine in there, but it doesn't last. Bond number nine, Ode to New York, the white bottle with all of the uh, stickers on it, that stuff, do not spray it on and put on a white shirt. You will ruin your shirt. That is Duroli Portofino, amped up to one million. It's one of the, that fragrance is, incredible but it damages clothing uh do you have any mancera don't like manceras i i i when i'm in stores i smell I, i'll just go through smelling stuff manceras mancera montal you know i'm not gonna diss them but i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't buy them I mean, the only one i would buy from montal would be uh oud melody or Honey Oud. My ex was very particular about fragrance review. Yeah, yeah. You like New York Nights? Um, yeah, I mean, if you like caramel. Yeah, see, and that's the funny thing. I, you can tell somebody who really knows what they're doing because every, every fragrance somebody's talking about, I know something about most of them. How does New York Ooh compare to Tom? Don't they don't? They're completely different fragrances. What's my dip? What's my take on Diptyque's Oud? Uh, Apollo, I'm wearing it right now. That's my fragrance of the day. It's my fragrance of the day. I talked about it on Instagram. Love it. Um, uh, it's very very. And for for those who can't get that one, Dior Oud Espan. <laughs> you can wear one on one hand, one on the other hand, and even people that did teeth will think Oud Espan is their fragrance. Greenwich Village. It, try, it was trying to be Baccarat Rouge 540. It's decent. Tribeca, though. Now, Tribeca? I got a review coming on Tribeca. But as I was going to go buy the... I had a, a decant of it and a sample of it, but as I was going to buy the bottle, shut sacks down. What's my take on Nui the No Hope? Nah. And I've tried. I tried it. Nui the No Hope just did not work for me. Um, and it comes in the, it, the clear bottle. I like the clear bottle version better than the blue bottle, but I wish, sadly, they took a, the Andy Warhol uh, collection. Some great fragrances from that line, gone. 
Did I like, do y'all like Dior on Parfum? Yes. It gives you a headache. Uh, don't wear it on your neck. If it gives you a headache, wear it on the back of your hands and on your chest. Don't wear it around your head. But guys, that's it. My word is bond. Today, I wanted to talk about just a portion of my bond collection. I don't want to go get any more of it because that's too much. I just want to do a quick, short video. Uh, from time to time, I may just throw a part of my collection up and just do a quick little blurb on it um, and, and entertain you guys with this. A uh, few more questions and I'm out of here. Have I smelled Profundo? No. Opinion on Bleecker Street? You missed it. I love it. Did Suit Saturday and was excellent. Tuxedo discount. Yep. Have I smelled exquisite embroidery on it? Um, I, I've gone. I, when you're actually doing something for Lotus Track and Carnal Flower. Oh, yeah, I got Carnal Flower in it. When you have to understand, when you're talking about fragrances online, let me tell you what, in my opinion, this is just my opinion. For me, the fragrance community is not the 5% or less of people who are on Base Notes, Fragrantica, YouTube, and in these online forums and private groups. It's the 95% of people who think Cool Water, Nautica Voyage, and Blue de Chanel is the shit. You don't make a multi-billion dollar industry based on a bunch of people, a handful of really, really eccentric people on fragrances. Who in the hell in, the, in their regular life would need this? What normal, what, what normal person would, would do this? I mean, really, think about it. If, if I'm your homeboy, right? And you came over to watch the Cowboys game and you went in my bathroom and you saw this, and this is just a part of it. You'd be like, bro, you got a problem. But it only makes sense because of what I do. If I turn the camera over there and you saw all those boots and shoes. Mm -mm. Uh, what are my favorite houses? I, I don't have any favorite houses, really. Here's the thing. I like I can find something I like from many houses. That's why even when the guy asked me about Mancera or Montal, there are things I like from each line. But one of the things I strongly dislike of what the fragrance community is, is people get to be so myopic in their views. What did I think of Ovation for men? I, I don't, haven't smelled it. What, uh, Ovation, okay. but I do want to get my hands on, uh, on, uh, Amouage Overture. So guys, anyway, I, won't, I don't want to make this very much, very long. Um, this is a little quick Friday night chat about Bond, something that a lot of fragrance reviewers won't talk about because a lot, I mean, many fragrance reviewers just don't like Larisse. And here's something else like, like Jeremy Fragrance, shout out to my dog Jeremy. There are people in the fragrance community who just can't stand Jeremy. And personally, I, I think it's hilarious. That dude is living his best life. But because he doesn't want to sit on a couch and talk about each individual note of a fragrance and do a four hour dissertation on why this formulation is better than that formulation, he made it fun. Good job for you, Jeremy. Mike, it's like me. Anything good? Cause you gonna live once. I... No problem. I haven't talked about MDC. Uh, I, I haven't got around to it. There's a here's the thing, guys. I, I try to do my best to get around there, but you gotta understand. There's so many things I could talk about. And here's the unfortunate part. In your li in you guys' lives, um, I would think the average person who's watching, you find you there are a few things you like. If you saw the packages I received just today, I could sit here 
and talk and talk and talk and I for a month and I wouldn't get through a lot of stuff because as an influencer there's so many things and, and, and I'm in men's fashion and men's fragrance that's two separate that's two full-time separate YouTube platforms I'm trying to blend together topic of the stream by number nine so I, I'm, I do my best, but I'm not going to get to everything. But at the end of the day, I make videos for the 95% of people who don't, who don't have time to go sit down. Yes, New York Amber. I do the, I do the videos for the 95% of the people who don't have the time to go smell and test and do all, that really trust what me and maybe a few other people have to say about a fragrance and then they may decide to go smell it and make a decision. I don't do it for the 5% or less of people who already know what they like and really aren't looking for my opinion. They're just looking for ways to knock my opinion. That's the fragrance community that I don't like. The people who already know what they believe and are looking to look at your knowledge and say, I thought you knew what you're talking about. You didn't even pick up the note of uh, carrot seed in the middle. Fuck out of here. Guys, peace out. Thanks, Dan. What does Dubai rank? I don't know how. Uh, oh, buy number nine Dubai. <laughs> That's dope. I wouldn't pay 50 for it, though. That, mm -mm. The, 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 <laughs> Platinum, I like the platinum. Uh, Dubai Diamond, $850 for that? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. Thanks. I got some. I got an unboxing video coming. Got to unbox. Now you guys like the new setup? We got the kind of place where I can like show stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. Peace out. Bye bye. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.